Alright guys, today I've got a cool video here for you. This is going to be on the HTC One M8. Um, this is the Verizon variant and I'm going to show you guys how to install clean ROM on this device which is pretty cool. Um, nice, nice ROM. So right now I'm actually running Viper ROM um, which is one of my favorites. It's definitely really nice. But um, besides that, let's get into some prerequisites for installing this. So you're going to actually have to have um, S off and an unlocked bootloader to do it and then obviously have some kind of recovery installed whether it's clockwork mod recovery or team win recovery project slash twerp um, also super super really doesn't matter if you have recovery because you either can flash it or you know it's, it's not a really big deal if you have root access if you have a custom recovery installed um, alright so those are my prerequisites the other thing besides that is you gotta make sure that you have the file downloaded so mine's right here on my external SD card it's in a folder called ROMs, and there it is right there, Clean ROM version 1.0 zip. So once you've got that all on there, you basically just got to reboot into recovery. So you can do it a bunch of different ways. Um, let's see if I have my, my reboot application in here. It doesn't look like I do. You can download, like, um, uh, I think it's called, like, Reboot Recovery or something like that app. You can use an app like Flashify and uh, I actually like this application a lot and then right here it has an option to reboot into recovery uh, you can use an app like Twerp Manager again reboot into recovery or if your ROM has the feature this one actually does you can um, go restart and then to recovery and it'll reboot your device into recovery now obviously you can still get into this by holding your buttons down and doing some button combinations to get into recovery which is a great way to know how to get in there but it's just nice to have the reboot to recovery feature you know in your ROM or with any application it just makes it very convenient and easy to use alright so here we go this is uh, Team One Recovery Project slash Twerp um, and the first thing you always want to do always 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 is make sure you have an Android backup before you flash anything so um, I'm gonna see I actually have one from about six seven days ago I'm actually gonna delete this one on Viper ROM and I'll delete it, swipe across, go back, and then I'll go to backup, and I'm going to call this one Viper One ROM again, just because that's the uh, easy way for me to remember what I've got. So, you know, call it whatever you want. You can leave it default, called whatever default you want if you want. Um, call this Viper One M8 and then hit go and micro SD card which is should be fine yeah and I don't want to save the internal um, alright and then I'm gonna go ahead and slide across and create my Android backup now the really important part about creating an Android backup here is that if for some reason you don't like the ROM if for some reason um, the ROM was a bad download and it doesn't install correctly you know all those worst case scenario kind of situations by having this backup, you will be able to restore it and get your phone booting if you have any issues. You get stuck in some kind of boot loop with the new ROM you install. So it's very, very important that you do your first Android backup. So all that being said, I'm going to let this backup go ahead and run. And we'll come right back to it when it's done. It's probably going to take upwards of, you know, five, six minutes to run. I think it's about a four gig backup. Yeah, right here, all size. So that's three gigs 700 megabytes so it's a pretty good size for the backup I'm running that's probably going to be pretty standard for most people could be more depending on what you have on your device um, but there we go I'm gonna let this run like I say I'll come right back to it alright so this ROM is wrapping up here it has uh, backed up boot has backed up cache has backed up data and has backed up system it's generating the MD5 for the system which is just basically, the MD5s are basically a file that uh, makes sure that the integrity of your backup is good. And there you go, it is done. And if you're wondering about how long a backup takes, it always tells you right down here at the bottom, uh, backup complete in 521 seconds. That's how long it took me to make my backup. So divide that by 60 and you'll get your, uh, your time. It's, it's a good, good, quite a long backup. So we're going to go back here, um, back out of this again. So now if you go to restores, you should see there's my backup right there on the bottom, that the Viper 1 M8. Um, so very, very cool. All right, so we want to install this ROM, this clean ROM, 
Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So first thing you got to do is you got to go into wipes and swipe across and wipe. This wipes cache, wipes data, and it wipes um, uh, Delvic. All right, Delvic cache. So we can go back, back out of that. And now we have a clean slate on our device. Obviously, any of your applications, everything's going to get wiped out by installing this ROM. Um, now, you can technically dirty flash ROMs. It's just you have no guarantee everything's going to run correctly. It could cause issues, so it is an option. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into install. And actually, I'm already in the directory for my clean ROM version 1. So we're going to go ahead and select it. Make sure it's listed right there by my thumb. It is. And swipe across to flash clean ROM. So while CleanRom is flashing, let me just discuss a little bit about it. One of the things that's really cool about CleanRom is that it's going to be based on the latest OTA update for the HTC One M8 Verizon. So that's always really exciting. Um, and in that note and on, on that, uh, that kind of key phrase, I guess you could say, basically, just so you guys understand this, whenever there's an OTA update, it, it's much better if you have an unlocked device and FSOF and all those kind of things to not try to take the stock OTA updates. They basically just cause issues, um, and it's always a pain in the neck to try to get your phone back so it's got a custom stock recovery on it and you know so on and so forth. The best thing to do is after an OTA, an OTA update comes out, just wait about, I don't know, a couple weeks, and some developer is going to have a ROM based on the new OTA update, so you will get all the new features. And then they go through the headache of figuring all that stuff out instead of you guys trying to figure it out. Um, it's what I do, it just makes things way, way easier. So again, this is based on the new OTA update and it's Clean ROM. Alright, so Clean ROM is done, that's it. Very quick installation, not a big deal. You can go ahead and hit um, Reboot System now. And your device will reboot and it's going to boot into Clean ROM. Now I'm a little bit interested to see here, I'm pretty sure what Clean ROM is and, and I'm kind of curious to see as we go through it. Um, Clean ROM basically is stock HTC One M8 OTA update, but it is cleaned up. That's why it's called Clean ROM. So they pretty much removed, I think, almost all the Verizon applications that are in the phone um, and got rid of those. Maybe cleaned up even some of the HTC Sense um, or HTC applications in it and got rid of those. You can see it does have the uh, stock Google boot animation for any of the Nexus devices, which is very cool. Um, and just basically tries to focus on performance and really getting your device to run really, really smooth and really, really fast. That is clean ROM. So that being said, um, first boot up here could take up to 10 minutes, probably more, no more than two would be my guess. But if it doesn't boot after 10 minutes, go ahead and um, go back into recovery and do your restore. Obviously, you got some kind of issues with the device. I'm going to let this thing boot up, jump through some install, and show you guys this ROM. All right, here we go. This is going to be first boot up here of Clean ROM. It actually boots right to a Blink feed. I'm going to scroll over and get away from Blink feed. Kind of skip through all these, like, you know, telling you about the device. Okay, so here you go. Um, there's Blink feed. Here's you got some Google Now stuff and your uh, clock. Um, and that's all that's on your home screens right now. Uh, you can see some basic applications down there along the bottom. And let's shoot into your app drawer. So we have some Google stuff right here. Pretty standard uh, Google stuff. Some tools. They did keep the uh, mobile hotspot, which I think is technically is a Verizon application, but I mean, that's awesome because you need that application. It's definitely a good thing that it's kept. Um, let's go back out of that. And let's scroll down here. All this stuff looks pretty standard. Here you've got uh, the flashlight. You do have root access, obviously, with this ROM, which is definitely needs to be needs to be going on. Um, let me see if I can turn up the um, display on this thing a little bit. There we go. All right, there we are. All right, so basically, applications you can see are very stripped down. There is uh, voicemail still in it, um, but very very stripped down. Let's go ahead and check out our uh, notifications and our toggles and all that kind of stuff so again very basic everything seems pretty stock um, here you can go into settings and uh, I think the rest of this is all very very much stock um, but basically the whole idea like I said behind this ROM is just for absolute smoothness and everything being just really stripped down so this thing will run super smooth super fast for you and uh, be an excellent excellent experience so if you want to get all rid of all that bloat, all that junk that's on here, 
that uh, is put on these devices and get down basically down to the minimums. This is the ROM for you. This is clean ROM on the HTC One M8 Verizon. Hope you guys like it. Um, definitely check out the XDA thread on this ROM. I'll link you to it. The developer there is really awesome. Does some nice work. Um, and uh, install it on your device. See how you like it. Hope you guys like this video. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out. <music>